So I think what I'd like to share is, is one of the key messages of both ends when it comes to water governance, and that is the fact that water governance is a political issue. And what we mean by that is the fact that the winners and losers of water governance, so those that are most at risk or those that reap the most benefits of water, are essentially determined by broader societal power balances. And these are often very unequal. Uh, so when we think about the concept of inclusive water governance, for instance, uh, in the Sustainable Development Goals, it becomes apparent that this is less a uh, technical challenge as much as it is a challenge of offsetting these unequal power balances in a way that enhances the voice of marginalized groups, while at the same time reining in the voices of groups that have traditionally and historically been more dominant in water governance.